So first page is fine, second page wasn't fine, but I'll show you later, it's just my camera cut out. All right, third page, okay. So what I'm gonna do is use the crop tool. I'm gonna select this area. This is the area I wanna keep. Keep it clicked on clear, press save. That's gonna get rid of everything around it and just keep that part. So now I'm gonna use this tool, uh, box select it's called. I'm just gonna drag around the bits. You see these little bits that I uh, didn't get. I'm gonna drag around a box around it and just click delete. I'm just gonna do this and I spend so much of my time doing this because uh, I don't know, I guess I'm OCD and I don't want any of these little bits to show up. Um, so yeah, I get as much as I can, have a look, looks pretty decent to me, press save and then on to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to box select everything, including the page number, press save, that gets rid of everything around it. Then I got box select, I should have said crop on that last one, but box select now. I'm going to get in and get all these little bits and this takes this is what takes the time um, but it looks so much nicer when you can export the PDF without all these little bits being picked up um, so yeah like I said I spend most of my time doing this when I'm scanning the scanning does take long as you can see it took you know seven or eight minutes to do that whole booklet it's this post stuff that takes the time uh, the annoying thing is you can't really zoom in uh, on this, so you have to try and, you know, it's a bit of trial and error, you'll find that you'll probably delete text by accident, uh, and I'll probably do it in this, so when I do that I'll show you how to uh, to rectify that. Okay, that looks pretty good, save, on to the next page. So I will skip through most of this, so you don't have to watch me do this, because it's uh, boring as hell. This one. So you see it's not really in the center. What we'll do is just box select it. And then with the box select, you can just drag it where you want it. Click save, nice and centered. So I'm not sure this is like, you know, it's a little bit wonky. I can try and play around with the rotation. Click a minus one, it's gonna make it go left. Does that look better? Maybe, maybe not, click cancel. I think it's fine how it is. Next. Ah, so you can see that I've, I've messed up at the bottom. I've got rid of the number 10. I probably did that right at the beginning. So if I click this back, but this reset button, it's going to abandon all of the editing that I did, which is you know, pretty annoying. You can't just like undo one of the things you did as far as I know, um, which is really frustrating. So make sure when you do that cropping at the beginning, you don't do something stupid like I did. You can see around this bit, you know, where I said at the beginning that there was a bit of glare on the scanner. Um, so it hasn't come out as well as it should. It's not too bad, but it's not as good as it could be. Um, I could rescan the page, and then what I would do is just turn off the um, the Caesar's light, the scanner's light. So it would stop that glare from happening. So it's something you can do. Let's highlight all of them. Let's get rid of the first one. And let's get rid of the last one. Yeah, that's fine. So what you can do is do a crop of all of them. So let's go across so we can see a page like this, for example. Uh, crop and pixels, let's go 50, yeah it's going to say do them all, it's fine, you see how this came down, and then from the left maybe 50, the right 50, the bottom 50, and we want that to be a clear white up rather than a cut, <clears throat> and now I can just use the arrow keys to go along and see what it's like, so that will crop them all straight away. Um, I think what I will do is make it all maybe like 150. So you can see 150 is too much. 
has taken the page number out. So 100 looks pretty good. Let's go all the way back to the first page. And then we go through, so you see this one was too much, so I can just take it out, take it out, and that will keep that for that page. That one looks pretty good. That one is looking a bit tight here. So I can just come out like this. So this is another way of doing it. I mean, you could do this, but I'm, I'm going to have to go through manually anyway and get rid of all those little, uh, little artifacts. So it doesn't really matter which way. Uh, which way you decide to do it, um, but this can be a quite a cool and uh, a time-saving thing uh, where you can do it all at once rather than just going through. to know a cool chiropractic word this is it electroencephalo neuromentimpograph ridiculous that one's a bit wonky We'll try we'll rotate it. About one does that look better? I would say, yeah, maybe that looks a bit better. And then I'll just do the crop tool because, as you can see at the bottom, it, when it turns it, it adds a, an artifact. So just clear that and that's gone again. So we reached the end. So, what I'm going to do is standardize these apart from. So select them all, take away the front cover, take away the back cover. I tend not to standardize those uh, because they're usually in color and it makes it look a bit weird putting a white edge around, but I guess you can do as you please. Um, so before I standardize it, what I tend to do is open up where all those files are down here. Uh, I'm going to copy them all, create a new folder and call it, it is as simple as that. Uh, I'm going to put them all in there. So I've made a copy. Keep these ones here because when I standardize them, it's going to change all of these. And then I don't think I can change them back or I haven't found an easy way to change them back. So uh, having a backup in here uh, is always a, a good idea. And I have multiple backups um, sometimes just to make sure I don't have to scan and edit them all again after I've taken all that time uh, in case I mess something up. Right, so they're in there. I've selected them all apart from the front and back. I'm going to click standardize. Now, this is like a, an A5 sort of um, brochure. I put the DPI as 350. Uh, I leave all of this as it is. Uh, match with background. I, I usually keep content page ratio. Um, you can stretch it, but sometimes it looks a bit strange. So I'm gonna click maximize. This gives you like a little preview or whatever. Confirm, it's then gonna do all the pages that are selected. So give that a second to go through. There we are. We'll have a little look. We go back to the top. We didn't do that page, but we did all of these pages. So now they're all sort of the same size when we go to export them so a good rule of thumb now is to go through and make sure you haven't missed any pages out uh, it starts at page two i'm pretty sure that's correct check it with the source material and i just go down through and make sure i haven't missed any out or there isn't one that's like super off to one side or anything like that there you go so 75 pages all done so i'm going to select them all Click searchable PDF. Uh, I always put high. Um, click the language you want. I go for English. Export as a PDF. I keep this all the same. Press confirm. It's going to ask you to name it. So if I go into uh, sources, oh, yeah. sources. It's as simple as that. I'm going to name it. 
it is as simple as that by EJ Palmer. Click save. It's now going to export. Um, so I had some issues when I first started this where the whole program would just force close. Once I did that, it would say initializing and then it would just force close and send an error report to um, Caesar. Um, the way that I stopped that from happening is to always open the program um, running as administrator. So that seemed to solve the problem. So now I just set it to always run, ad run as administrator and then it doesn't force close anymore. So you've got to give it a while while it implements the OCR um, and then we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so the export is done, so we'll click and open that up. So there is our export. So what I tend to do now is just scroll through, make sure everything's looking all right. Sometimes when you will export this, um, the way the optical character recognition works, sometimes a page will like be completely turned to one side or an angle or something. Um, it happens usually when like the um, when the words are part of an image and it can't it's trying to like straighten it out um, there, there are ways to get around that normally what I would do um, is export that page as a non searchable PDF and then replace the non that non searchable PDF page with the one in in the, the, the combined file um, it's a bit of a it's not too much of a mission but um, it's just annoying when it happens so anyway this is standardized it's looking good Let's go back to that one. Yeah, it just took a while to load. Um, looking pretty decent. So I usually just check to make sure that it's searchable. So if I put this hyphen ease and see what comes up, there we are. Fully searchable. Even the very, very small text is pretty damn awesome. Now, uh, why don't we do a little test of uh, copy and paste? Let's copy all of that. Press Control C. Uh, let's get a new Word document up let's paste it in here yeah, it's come up pretty well uh, anything any issues no it's looking pretty nice uh, if we try and do a whole page here let's do it with the introduction and see what comes out there we go control c copy and paste the whole page there you go where it led to, so maybe that's an issue there. Let's have a look where it, where was that, where it, where it leads, where it leads. Yeah, so obviously it's because you see, I didn't scan it so well at the beginning. Uh, I didn't get rid of that glare, so it hasn't quite picked that up, but it's done a pretty good job. Um, I mean, that's pretty good. Copy and paste that whole page like that. Lovely. Uh, it's done the, the page number at the top there for some reason, but by and large, that I'm pretty happy with that. So that is the whole PDF. Just going through, I'm going to go all the way to the end, and that's the last page. Pretty awesome. Um, let us go back to sources where and just show you the size of it so it's five meg it's pretty good i mean you can obviously put that through a, on a small pdf or whatever and then just um, make it a smaller file size but five megabytes is fine for, for me uh, and that's that so yeah um, I don't think there's anything else really to go through. Um, that's pretty much how I do most of my stuff. There's not anything else that I really need to, usually need to do. I mean, you know, sometimes I'll change the, I'll change, yeah, the, the profile here, the filter. Um, 
if you scan them on auto then you can just you can just change them between all of them um, I've scanned a lot of this on black and white so I won't be able to change it to some of the other filters um, sometimes I'll play around with the contrast or the you know the thickness or whatever um, but very rarely uh, what other stuff down here uh, maybe a little tip this drags out and in which I didn't find out for ages and sometimes the page would be beneath that which would be annoying and I couldn't access it um, this this manual correction is pretty good uh, we didn't have any issues but basically where the scan is if I click that it's going to come up with where the algorithm has put the midline so if I wanted to change that if that midline for example was like all the way over here the scan will come out all messed up so if I click move points and then click the number seven I can now move this to wherever I think it should be so there's the middle I'll then press preview it's going to take a while to preview what the new page is going to look like that's what it's going to come out like compared to before so I can click save um, and then it's going to come out obviously it's done all of this this filtering again so yeah just go back um, but yeah that's that's quite useful um, I think that's probably everything uh, no. any questions leave them in the comments I guess um, yeah that's it